Hey, welcome to Backyard Woodworking again. Little project today, little birdhouse. It's springtime, the birds need a place to nest. I got a old piece of pine here that came off a house, old fascia board. Now you need about a six foot board. I got a little piece here, I don't know, about oh, four and a half feet or so. I got another piece over here. All you need really, I don't know if you can see this too well, I just kind of wrote it out here. But, take a tape measure and we're going to come up ten and a quarter on, on this side here. Well, let's see if I can show this a little better on this camera. I'm cut ten and a quarter here and nine and a quarter there. Now that that translates to is roughly a ten degree angle. So just measure up one side, make a ten uh, degree angle, and when you cut one, you're going to make two of them. Now that'll be the sides. Now the front, you're going to have a piece about nine inches. And that's going to be the clean out door to the front. And the back, that's discretionary. Now, if you're going to have it hanging on a, on a wall, you want the back to be like a little longer than the top and the bottom. So, in other words, you might want a 16 or 18 inch piece for the back. The bottom's four inches by five and a half. This is all a one by six. Uh, I'm using one by six pine. Uh, you can use cedar. That way uh, it'll last a lot longer. But pine, you last. I found they last for years. And uh, you can use them for. Uh, oh, I'd say. Well, let's put it this way. You can you can you can make a, a pine birdhouse, and you can paint the outside if you'd like. I don't uh, bother with it because uh, this is just junk when I go to a job anyway. For the last five years, throw it out, make another one. I take 15 minutes or so to make one when you once you get the hang of it. So let's make one. All right. Give me an example. Here's one I made a few years ago. This is made uh, cedar, it's aged. As you can see, this is well turned out. Now this is a use for mounting on a wall because you can mount on the top and the bottom. Now if you're going to mount it on a post, you just need a, a straight back and you can mount it from the bottom on a post. Now the front here, I I made this one. It's screwed on solid. The back screwed on. And what I did with this is I just take it down, unscrew the roof, and then clean it out every year, and then they're ready to go. Now another thing, I put a little couple of curbs under here. That's so the birds can grab it. That, that, that have a problem. This wood's pretty rough. And underneath the roof here, I even I put a little curve cut so any water wouldn't run down inside it would just drip hit that and fall off so that's just a little added extra I, I found these plans online somewhere I can't even remember what site there's so many of them that are similar to this put a couple holes in the side here you know for let the heat out and in the bottom for drainage if you can see how the bottom is here and you can see the back and how the sides, I got a couple holes up there for ventilation purposes. That's basically, and it's all out of one by six. Now the next one, if you want to make a bigger roof, you take a bigger chunk of wood, you can put a, cut it down, put a bigger roof on it if you want to. Hey, the choice is yours, but it's very simple. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to cut the sides and we're going to cut them uh, nine and a quarter in the back, ten and a quarter in the front 
at a 10 degree angle, that'll give you, so just either way you want to do it, measure from the 10, 10 side or the 9 side and make it 10 degree angle and long to short, basically. So let's go, we'll cut that. have to be dead on perfect. The one thing I'm going to do here on this little piece here, I'm just going to take my saw, I'm going to clip the corners like so at a 45 and that'll make for drainage. Now the top, I'm not going to put the holes in like I did in the other one. I put holes up here, like here and here. What I'm going to do with the top here is when I put the front in, it's smaller, as you see, by about a quarter inch. That'll give me, I can put a screw on each side here, and this will hinge up and down, like so. I'll show you. First thing I'm going to do is clip this. Be right back. Okay. Now, the only other thing we need to do depends on the species of the bird you got. Now this is basically a bluebird house I'm making. Now you can make them di these different sizes. Look up on the web, you can find for different birds. Now, I have a lot of bluebirds, so it requires an inch and a half hole. And you can put it down about, oh, about that far from the top is a nice place. You don't want it down the bottom here because they build their nest. You want it up here at the top. They want to be able to drop in when they build their nest, the, bird, the babies can get out. That's the way that goes. So we drill a hole next. Alright, when I come down three inches from the top, doesn't matter which side, top bottom, doesn't matter. This will be my top. Inch and a half hole and just cut this. You got to get these out, put a screw in here and here and turn it in. It'll pop this, pull, push against the back of this and it'll pop this right out. Okay, we have this. We have a bottom and we got two sides. Now all I do is take sides here and put screws in them. The front, like a so, and basically that, that's it. Now to speed things up, I'm going to glue this and shoot it with a brad nailer. Now this wood's a little on the working side here, so it's old wood, like I said, but the birds don't seem to care. And like so. So you take this one, this 
side here. And do the same thing. Now, if you want to add a screw or two afterwards, fine. Doesn't matter. Now, this here you can leave down like I did here, and that gives you your airspace. And you can see like that, um, just like that, and this will go in and that will fit like that. Now if you want to redo this, make your front this size here, 4 inches. And your top up here like this and fit this inside here then you can swing this up and clean out. I just take the roof off. I screw the roof on and that works for me. So it's up to you. And right here for the bottom. And that holds that together. Now the back depends. What do you want to do with it? You want to put a roof on it or, or mount it on a, a wall? Do it that way. If you're going to mount it, say, on a post, and then you can cut this off flush. And what I do, if I'm going to put it up here, like the mount on here, use that side. I'll leave equal amount about, I mean we're building birdhouses here, we're not building fine furniture. Just like this. And then just bring your sides in to match, just like so. Simple. And basically you got a birdhouse. Now for roof, I got a big piece here. What I'll do is equal that up there. I'm going to cut a 10 back here and I want a little overhang so I'm going to cut a 10 right about here. But I'm going to cut the back of this off. Be right back. Alright, just cut it down on a table saw. I cut a 10 on the front and the back so it gives it a little character I guess just like that that'll fit like that and you take your camera cord and get it caught in a nail gun and just I, what I do is just eyeball it like that and you know where you're going to be it's right next to the center here so pack it here and here it'll hold it in place for you Drill a hole and put a screw in it on each side. We'll do that next. But I did have made a couple of marks line up. I noticed the edge of the side, so come in about three eighths. Make a couple of little marks so you know what you're doing. And then you can take your drill here. With a countersink bit. Now, if you want to put more screws in, you can put a dozen in there. It doesn't matter. I don't put that many in. 
me to drill his hair real fast and take your now this could all be done with hand tools you don't need to have anything fancy you can cut everything I cut here with a hand saw a jigsaw or a circular saw and I'll do it all and there you go one bird house ready to hang drill a hole here drill one down there and hang it on a wall or a tree or whatever you don't really you really don't want to be that fancy with them but it's a real quick and easy project you can make one I, it took me a while with a playing around but you see you notice under here the slot that's for the air out the bottom it drains for any moisture that we get in there you have a nice hole it'll fit chickadees bluebirds look on the internet you can make these any size you, the smaller you make them is for smaller birds bigger holes bigger boxes bigger birds now this is just made out of scrap pine this will last years I don't paint them birds don't seem to like the paint if you want to make them pretty, fine. Do it in the winter time and then let the outside dry. Never paint the inside of a box. I think a cedar, if you want to keep them around a while, just use cedar or redwood or cypress or something like that. Make them out of that and it'll last a long while and you won't have to worry about them. Well, thanks for watching Backyard Woodworking. If you like what you see, subscribe, comment, hit the old like button. Thanks for watching.